Hey, JB from Just TCG here, and today we are going to start the City Championship Trader Challenge on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Last time we completed the Platinum Path, and in this episode we are going to take on Nathan, Juji, and Grayson with the Imperial Command theme deck. If you missed out on the deck tech, clink on the card that is appearing now in the top right hand corner to check that out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the action taking on Nathan's Fighting and Grass deck. Okay, so it looks like we're going first. Looking at our hand, we have an Alolan Sandshrew, Pimplup, and Snova. Given that we know Nathan's got some fighting uh, Pokemon, we're going to play the Snova. And we're going to leave our bench empty, which you should really do anyway. Um, you want to hide as much information from your opponent as possible. Even though it's AI, it's just good practice, I feel. Uh, we'll start by playing How and Drawing 3. There's another Primplup. We've got Sophocles for next turn. Uh, we're going to play the Sandshrew just in case we draw a load of Sandslash next turn so we don't miss out on an evolution there. And then we'll just pass turn so we can't attack on our first turn. Great ball. Okay. Finds a Surskit, which we don't really mind too much. Okay. So let's read what our opponent's Pokemon does. Nose pass. Uh, Stiffen can be a pain, and Ram doesn't do that much, so I'm not too scared. We'll play How again, draw three more cards. Uh, there's an Abomber Snow, but I want to be able to attack this turn, so I'm just going to leave the Abomber Snow as it is. There's no uh, Water Energies in my discard pile either, so there's not much point. I Shroud for 60, because it's a Fighting type. Brilliant. And then next turn, even if you use a Stiffen on those Pass, we could do 20 more damage and that'll be lethal. Okay, there's a Lowland Sand Slash. Cool. So we can show off a Lowland Sand Slash's uh, Pokemon ability, which is Slush Rush, where once a turn you can activate it just to draw a card. Like so. There we go. And there's Pip Plop as well. We're going to power up our Snowba with another Water Energy. Look, he's get to four for that Abomasnow. Uh, we will also play the... I don't want to play Sophocles, do I? I think I do. I can discard the Primplup and a Water Energy to draw four cards. There's another Lowland Sand Slash. Uh, there's an Ultra Ball as well, so we can find Empoleon, uh, which we don't really need to worry about for the time being. Um, we can evolve the Snova into a Bomber Snow. Use the Pokemon ability, attach the Water Energy we just discarded back onto the Abomber Snow, and we can use Hypno Hammer to kill the Nose Pass. And there we go. So Nathan's Pokemon haven't really powered up yet. There's an Acro Bike. There's a Great Ball. To get a Shroomish, okay. Plays the Shroomish, cool. Let's have a look and see what this new Pokemon is. Uh, Breloom, the evolved form of, I think that's Shroomish. Um, I think, yeah, the evolved form of Shroomish. Uh, can't do anything yet. Uh, 100 health as well. So we, we have the Kukui in our hand, but before we do that, let's put a Water Energy onto him. Uh, then evolve the Pitplop into Primplop. And then we'll use Slush Rush to draw a card. Cool. And then we will use Kukui to deal 20 extra damage. Which brings our Abomaso's attack up to 100. We'll then... We don't need to use the Ultra Ball just yet. There's another Snova. Uh, which we don't really need to use. So we'll hit the Hammer for 100. There we go. Another win, another water energy. So there's the uh, sus git we saw, or whatever it's called. I, I'm not good with words. I try to be better with words anyway. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, sus git. There we go. 50 health, just stampede for 10. Sure. Uh, we are going to use the ultra ball. We will discard the. Uh, actually, we'll discard the Lily and we'll discard the Escape Rope. 
Don't need to use those. Fetch Empoleon. And then evolve the Primplop into the Empoleon. Then we can Slush Rush for a card. There's Corsola. And then we will Hypnome Hammer for 80. Here we go. There's an Aqua Patch. Okay, I don't think there's any... Oh, there's one Water Energy in our discard pile. Great Ball. We'll find another Shroomish. Okay. Back to us, though. Uh, we'll play the Aqua Patch. And we'll attach this onto our Empoleon. And then we'll put the third Water Energy onto Empoleon as well. There's no need to do anything else. So we'll just Hypno Hammer for 80. Actually, did we draw off Slush Rush? No, we need to we need to get into the habit of drawing off Slush Rush. Uh, and then Hypno Hammer. In fact... After doing anything that involves card searching, we should be drawing. There's the, the second copy of Empoleon. There's that crow bike. Needs to find a basic Pokemon or he's in trouble. Doesn't find it. Hypnohammer for 80. Let's not mess about. And there we go. One down. Okay, so we are up against Gigi next. We fought her previously. Uh, she's got a fighting deck. Luckily, we got Snova in our opening hand. Uh, I'm not going to play anything. I might put down the Corsola. But the Corsola right now is just straight up unnecessary. Uh, we go first. Don't really need to use the Ultra Ball for anything just yet. Although, I could get it for Buizel. But I think we're okay. There's Roller Skate's Tails, please. There we go. Sycamore. Never mind. Find, a base, find two basic Pokemon. And they're all the same. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at what we're dealing with. Uh, Mianfu. Oh, he's only got 60 health. And Snova's ability to 60 to fighting types. Uh, we will play the Piplup and the Alodan Sandshrew. We don't need to use the Ultra Ball just yet, but we will Ice Shard for 60. There we go. First prize in the bag. There's an Aqua Patch. Okay. Karina, such a head deck for a fighting Pokemon. Finds a matchup and a potion, sure. Don't think they're really going to help you. Flop for another 10. Interesting. Okay, there's another Snova. But I'm actually in the market for an Alolan Sun Slash. So we will discard a Water Energy and a Corsola. For the Alolan Sun Slash. Although, actually, I think because we have the Aqua Patch, uh, sorry, we have a Water Energy in our grave now, this becomes a lot easier. Play the Obama Snow. Put the Water Energy onto the Obama Snow. And then uh, hit the hammer for 80. And in the deck tech, I spoke about how awesome Empoleon is and how I wasn't sure if the Abomaso is any good. Um, against fighting Pokemon, Abomaso seems incredible. Uh, right, let's see. Don't really need to do anything here. Just put an energy onto Piplup. And then hit the hammer for 80. Okay. 
There's a Buizel. I'm just going to hit no hammer at this point. There we go, yeah. I was going to say, I hope this doesn't go on for too much longer. Because I've just got complete control. Oh! It's got 90 health. My bad. Oh, I could have just straight up won that. Awkward. Ah, I didn't realise it was Hitmonchan. Whoops. Oh, that was bad. That was just bad. Play the Kukui. Should have just won there and then. Well, at least I'm keeping it interesting, I guess. And I'm not perfect. Despite the fact that I'm usually a lot cleaner, especially in PvP. In PvP, when I'm not commentating, I'm just switched on. I'm not just waiting for it to be over, because it seems too easy. Uh, so, yeah. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Just go through the motions. Well, that took a bit longer than it should have. Okay, we are up against Grayson and his electric deck, and we are going first. So we need to be just a bit careful of what we play, because we don't want to fall foul of any weaknesses. For example, Empoleon I know is weak to electricity, so we will start with a uh, Snova. And then have Sunshrew on the bench. I shouldn't have put Sunshrew on the bench. Okay. So there's a Floatzel. And we will end the turn. Because we can't evolve on our first turn. There's Wally. Okay. Fetching two more electric. Grayson's off to a pretty good start. Better than us. Pound for ten. Right, let's see what he did. So he used Wally to evolve... Oh, yeah. To evolve the Electrike into Manetric. So he just needs to be a bit careful. Um, we'll evolve the Sandshrew into Alolan Sand Slash. Slush Rush to draw a card. And then how we'll draw three more. And then... We will. I shove 20. Not the fastest of starts in like the previous two games. So this will be a bit more interesting. Pound for another 10. What is that second ability? Uh, destructive beam. Oh, just an energy discard. Okay. Okay. Well... Thank goodness we're drawing three pit plops, eh? Let's put one on the bench. Uh, I shove 20. Despite the fact we drew a low in Sun Slash nice and early, we're off to a very slow start. Let's see what this Pokemon does. Electrode. Oh, Electrode, okay. I see how it is. Uh, slush Rush. Draw a card. There's a Bomber Snow. Okay. Um, Ice Shard will just kill it. Okay. And there's a Pokemon Fang Club. Doesn't fetch. Can fetch Buizel with it? EXP share. Sure. So Manetric does 40 with his... Oh, 30, sorry. With Lightning Turn and 70 with Electric Shock. And that can paralyze a Pokemon. So just something to watch out for. Uh, we'll play the Pokemon Fan Club. Fetch a Weasel. And fetch a... We'll fetch another Alolan Sand Shrew. Because I think there's another Alolan Sand Slash in the deck there is. And we can use... If we have two Sand Slashes out, we can use Slush Rush twice. So we'll do that. Okay, play the Weasel. 
and then we can use Slush Rush. Draw water, sure. I shove for 20. Because even if... Yeah, Lightning Turn can only do a maximum of 30, so if something gets subbed out... There we go, there's Electrode, okay. There's Primplup, brilliant. I don't believe there's any water energy in discard, there is not. So, Abomaslow's Poke Pokemon ability will not activate. But nonetheless, do you want to evolve? Uh, there are no valid cards, I knew this. Um, Slush Rush. Although, if this is an Ultra Ball, that would have been silly. It's not. So, I could have played that better. All the same, Hypno Hammer. But it just wakes straight back up. Shame. There's a Repeat Ball. Can fetch another Electrode, sure. But I think. Oh no, behave. 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 My word. Five heads in a row. Um, couldn't play the Breezel because I've got floats in my hand. Was not a fan of that. That was ridiculous. We use Slush Rush to draw a card. There's Manaphy. We'll play the Elodian Sandshrew. And then play Sophocles. Discard the Manaphy and the Pitplup to draw four cards. There's another Corsola. Nice. Not. Uh, did I discard a Water Energy? I did. Well, I didn't, but there's there are some in the grave, is my point. Put that onto Empoleon, and then Agility for 30. That continuous tackle was just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, got heads on the Agility as well, so I take no damage next turn. So, all round, winner winner, chicken dinner. There's Manetric. Super Potion. What? Okay, now I'm confused. Uh, first things first, we will draw off Howl. One, two, three. There's another Primplup, so we'll play the Pitplup. Then we will put a Water Energy onto Empoleon. Then we will draw a card off Slush Rush. Uh, there is a hundred health on that Minetric, and there are five bench Pokemon. So I'm going to retreat the Float Salt, put the Empoleon into play, even though he's weak to Electric. I'm going to Total Command for 100. Uh, yeah. In fact, I'm just going to put Buizel on the bench as well, because I can. There's Total Command for 120. There we go. Last Pokemon. I'm sure he has others, actually. Static Shock for 40. But it doesn't matter. Total command for 100. Thanks for playing. And there we go. Three wins out of three. And there we go. That is three opponents done. Nathan, Juji, and Grayson all bite the dust to my Imperial Command deck. In the next episode, we will take on Rika, Brittany, and Otis with the Destruction Fang deck. I think that'll be a good one. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. Click on the bell as well for more notifications. You can also check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description below. In the meantime, though, I've been JB for Just TCG. This has been the City Championship Trainer Challenge on the Pokemon Training Card Game Online. And I'll see you in the next one.